and I mean, we, we always are here with another beer. Yeah, we, we are here with been. another beer. But it's like, like it doesn't one change. Video. There's one video where we have been here without another beer. Internet. Howdy, howdy. We are Schooner and Hop. We're here with another beer. Surprisingly enough. Anyway, uh, this one's named after named after Hop here. Yes. <laughs> so it's the Hop Hog. It's my it's my brother. <laughs> it's your brother, yeah. Hop Hog, yeah. He's he's not as not nearly as fun. Uh, his manners. Not as sweet great. as me. No. Um, yeah. Pretty fucking bitter. Yeah. Uh, the Fell Brewing Hop Hog. It's an mm. American style pale ale. Forty eight RBU, five point eight percent. But right off the bat, it's got it's got a really nice colour. It's maybe not as um, uh, rich might not be the right word. No, rich maybe is the right word. As rich as other, yeah, yeah, as other American styles. It's yeah, it's still got that kind of ambery colour which mm. you expect, but it's not as dark. Yeah, uh, it probably doesn't help that we just have a direct light straight into it. But uh, yeah, you can always you can tell when a beer is darker though. Yeah, we can we we know what we're looking at in these lights. Yeah, or at least we pretend pretend to. I mean, uh, uh, just yeah. from that pour, I can already smell yeah. just that citrusy flavour. That's you actually expect. that's actually what kicked it off when when I poured it uh, in my um, tasting before the before this. I was like, uh, and smelt it. I was like, this is this is going to be up here. Pretty early. wicked. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, like, what hops is it built on? Did you find uh, out at all? Actually, yeah, oh geez, let me see. I don't actually think they said on their website. I'm pretty sure everything on their little website and everything I found is exactly what's written here. Make a uniquely feral brew. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to tell you Feral into that. No, thing. I don't think they do. I That's not really what they're about. I mean, you expect that from a brewery owned by Coke. Yeah. Uh, let's just say... Anyway, it's got American hops in there. So it's an American style pale. Isn't yeah. that amazing? I even list <laughs> that you're going to get a good whiff of uh, yeah. tr- citrusy yeah. flavour. Like, you got it straight away. Well, you're expecting, if it's an American style, you're expecting on the nose... Uh, fruit aromas uh you're expecting a bit of piney notes in the hops there and then a bit of finish yeah and i'll tell you what when we talked when we just mentioned you know time time of day and like mood really helps a beer uh my mood is really helping this beer <laughs> Again, yeah right um, um it was just a just a long day of a bit we're currently uh putting in a new keg room so we don't have any draft beer at work so you imagine telling people that come up to the bar that you don't have draft. Yeah, you, you're just not going to have an ideal it's time. It's just been a long day of like, oh yeah, and the same conversations. So this is... This, this is, is nice. <laughs> yeah, look. It's everything um, I deserve right now. I didn't even have a very busy day, but uh, this is so much better than when I did taste it the other day. Um, I'm still getting all those same notes. It's just heavy citrusy hoppiness just mm. sitting there. Uh, what was it? It says 48 IBU, but it really doesn't have th- that much of a bitterness punch to me right now. I'm just not getting it. So it's it's a very like distinct feral brewing, like when they Flavor. what do they say? N- uniquely feral brew, like that. It's just they have got a style that they go with for their bitterness. Um, yeah, and yeah, um, it's, it's exactly what's on the slide box. I've tried this once before on tap, but. It must have been an off keg because all I got was gross, earwaxy, grassy bitterness. Mm. So I was very reluctant to, <laughs> to try, try again. this again. Well, funnily enough, but, I didn't have high hopes going into trying this, and I don't know why that was. Whether it, and I, I think I've actually had this in the past, and I probably had this in the like prior to all this. So I was like, oh god, Ugh, craft beers. Mm. Um, so maybe that's what put me off. But yeah, that also helped it um, skyrocket. And make me yeah. think it's fantastic. I don't know. All I'm, I'm just getting heavy citrus uh, hop flavors, a bit of a uh, grassy bitterness in the middle. Yeah. Um, which, yeah, you expect that out of an American style pale. Yep. And it just finishes pretty smoothly. Like, it's a, for an American style, which I typically find to be very dirty in their bitterness. Yes. It's a very balanced. Yeah. Actually, uh, not, it, there's nothing, there's no harshness to it. I, I just tried the. Uh... The Pirate Life Pale, again last night, because we had a couple of cans left, I don't think the other one left in there is yours. Maybe. Um, 
so I had that had that last night. I tried this just after our initial tasting of the Pro Life Pal. So I was going in thinking of this. Yeah. And it was such a letdown having that. It's still not a bad pal, but there's only one pal, American style, and I've got it actually written here. You know, there's um, Gage Rhodes Atomic is is my favorite American style at the moment. I mean, granted, I we just had that on tap at work, so it's so yeah, you're getting it. It's got a leg up form. because yeah, I've got I've had it on on tap. So I've got Gage Rhodes Atomic, and then I've got this, and then pretty well every other American style pale that I've had. It was interesting going in when you just mentioned there they have a generally have like a dirty kind of bitterness. That's what I found in there. In the, in the pro life. especially I, in the pro and I, life. Funnily enough, I just thought that last night when I was tasting, I was like, "Oh, geez, that's a bit rough to finish," and I didn't remember that. So yeah. there you go. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost like I'm learning. Do you know stuff. what you're talking about? <laughs> like <laughs> rather than eh, up yeah. here, it's a bit it's more a like bit up like, here. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, sessionability. Mm. Uh, I give. I did give it a three, but I'm gonna make it a four. Mm. I gave. Um, I gave it a three for as much as I've like promoted this beer in this video. I'm still giving it a three. I, th I think um, the session ability is hurt by uh, the grassy tones. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get over that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just like the overwhelming citrus flavors. I, mm. I, that's what I do like about American If there was a pales. beer I was just going to smell all day long, it'd be American style. Yeah. Pale, so. <laughs> but, you know, beer's not for smelling. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's not for smelling, no. but it, it's a byproduct of it. That's yeah. quite enjoyable. Yeah. There you go. Uh, the bitterness, uh, still going to give it a three. Out. I'll just give it a three out of five. I gave it. I gave it a four, and I think that's maybe just the, um, like I was saying, the distinct feral. Uh, the flavor bitterness. that they're going. Through yeah, they they've got their own little kick to it, and I think that's maybe what I was uh, thinking there. Uh, the finish, I gave it a four uh, in my initial tasting, and I have a s very slight blocked nose now, so I don't think I so can really. So you're not really getting any of that. I can't really end. argue or comment on my yeah. previous. The finish, note. just a two out of five. I, I don't know. It just it's so nothing for the style mm, that yeah. it really it's not doing it for me. Yeah. And yeah, that happens I'd sometimes. Agree with that. Overall, it's just a three out of five beer. Really, there's nothing to write home about with it. It's good, but it's not. I gave it a. I gave it a four. Yeah, uh, I would agree. It's. It's. Oh, actually, not for me. It's, it's more. It's. It's higher up there for me than I suppose it is for you. I think we're getting that out of this. It's the last little thing, you know. Would I buy it again? I wrote down. Yep, I would. Uh, if Gage Rhodes wasn't in the same. Yeah. At the moment, it's my second favorite American, so I would buy it given Gage Rhodes wasn't there. Fair. Yeah, it's a fair justification. Uh, probably not. There you go. Uh, yeah. There you go, Coke. They're not buying you. He's not buying your products. I bet you, you're going to feel that. Yeah. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Eat shit, Coke. Oh, God. I'm the uh, sole cause of your profit. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna, so you're going to feel that burn. collapse now. You better reinvent <laughs> Coke No Sugar again. Hop, hog, no bitterness. <laughs> Coke Be sure to, that. yeah. <laughs> sure, not like that. Nah. Uh, check us out on Instagram mm. where we post reasonably frequently. Sometimes there's nice pictures of beers or we're just, I don't know, there's something on there. Yeah, we and do, we do things. We've also got a podcast available on iTunes and Spotify. Mm. Uh, we've been Schooner and Hop. We have. Cheers. Cheers.